What are those buildings doing to each other? <laughs> hey, the amazing Rando! Watch Rando the Great construct sets with his very mind! <laughs> What's up, Brussels? Welcome back to the Norwood Suite, and we are in the Norwood Suite, I think. Possibly. For Chappas. Where else would we be? What is this? Another note from Peter. Or for Peter. Peter, I hope this letter finds you well. I have tried reaching out to you by telephone, but your old number no longer works. So thanks in advance for fielding this. You may recall giving me a rough sketch of, of your bathtub minuet about ten years ago when I visited you at your estate. Ah, memories. The piece was either handwritten by you or copied by Hans. Huh? The, the, the motorcycle, bike, wearing helmet guy? What? I can't recall, but there's been interest in from... How old are these people? What year is this? And why? Why what? I don't know. I can't think of whatever. Hello? So yes, I was in the Norwood suite. <laughs> So, our goal is to make a fancy costume for ourselves to get into the party and to give the DJ, DJ Bogart, that CD from Muriel. Whom, if I recall, is the woman that's, that, like, peeled off after giving us the rundown of, at the very beginning of this adventure. Adventure, I say! What are we doing in here? What are those buildings doing to each other? Oh my god. I'm not sure I'm comfortable with that. Hello? Oh, hello. A pet turtle. A lever. It Ooh, clever! What's in here? More secret passages. Sausages. Every time we come through these, we see murals, uh, or dioramas, of Mr. Norwood, and his- Whoa! He's getting a little aggressive with that camera, isn't he? Neat! Okay, that's cool. I suppose he's a little camera shy. I don't know. Oh, hello! Back in the kitchen, I see. Neat. Okay, so... Hello! Wait. Hello, Mr. Oldman. You, you be the creepy man with the short, short legs. And a glow stick around your neck. Ma'am! Hello again, stranger. This has always been my father's favorite room. I used to run wild between the pins. My father, he'd be sitting right where he is now, preparing Peter's music for the day's rehearsal. Peter would play Zoe while my father was doing his musical homework, pretty much. But when it came time to perform, he was always ready, as Peter knew he would be. What to do now? Where to go? You know what? Hello. Hi, guys. Uh, the promoter? Yeah, right. More like our driver. Maybe you could help me out, though. Considering all the music around this place, I, for one, want to use this time to learn some new music. We've been schooled in music history. We know all about Norwood. Copy of New Norwood's music book around? Wait. You mean this thing? Is that what I think it is? I'm gonna have to get this off your hands and learn it. Stranger, you seem cool enough. Why don't you come party in our room 211? Ooh! Party in room 211! Party! <laughs> Alright, cool. Up the stairs and take a right down the hall, stranger. 
I'll meet you guys up there in a bit. I'm going to head to the theater and learn this music. You better be careful with that, Jer. Of course. Party in two, room 211. I'm going to go ahead there right now. I'll meet you up there. I'm not exactly one of those people that likes to be fashionably late. I, I tend to be early to things if I can avoid not being late. Oh, 211. Oh. This place is trippy. Needy McNeat face. Look at you dancing all jiggly wiggly like. Getting rin really getting into it. Sandro, please stop messing around with the Norwood's old sound system. Guests have been complaining to me non-stop since Clem insisted on getting it working. Since I know how much you like prizes, I've left a special reward for you next to the mixer. To access it, you'll need to mix the music to the levels that I prefer. Thanks, Nadia. P.S. I wouldn't worry about the board meeting this weekend. In fact, quite the opposite. Everything's falling into place. Oh, really? So... Oh, okay. Oh, he's still grooving and moving. Oh, he's... Does he get more into it the louder it is? Yeah. This is cool though. I'm I'm a DJ. Wait, he just he just stopped. He doesn't like when this slider is down. What happens when I do Oh. That happens when I do that. Take the blue key. Basement blue door key. Aha. You know what? Thank you so much. I'm going to go ahead and leave this up for you so you can enjoy the music. Have fun, dude. Oh, hello. The walls in here are so trippy. It's surreal. Hello, beagle boy. This, this is the wildness. I love it. This is, it's like hyper-dimensional. Okay. Pull the lever! Oh, look. It's the spectrograph. Is it going to show a secret? Can it show a secret? Secret, secret? I've got a secret? Where am I? <gasps> right above everything. Unlocked this door using the basement key. Whoa. Everyone's having a party. Wait. Was Norwood cryogenically frozen? Or is that a super weird iron lung? Is that what's going on here? Was he... Has he been preserved since 1983? Banana! Oh, we're here. Okay. Great. Nice. Now what? I'm not really supposed to tell anyone this. I'm actually here for the board meeting tomorrow. I'm casting one of the deciding votes. I'll give both sides a fair shake, but then I'm getting straight back into Yonksville with my father. It was a nice stay, but this place is actually too much for either of us, really. Okay, what am I doing? Where am I going? What have I, what have I not done? Who have I not talked to? What about those two dudes in the library? Where's the library? Oh, there's the library. <laughs> Alrighty. Let's go check to the... The chef? And, uh... This dude and or lady. I'm not sure. Stranger, can't you see I'm getting creamed here? This game's gonna ruin me. So is a difficult game, Bruce. Perhaps you need some strategic assistance. If I could just make one strong move, I'd be back in the running. You know, Norwood was a big Zo player back in the day. They say he'd skip his own ensemble rehearsals just to play round after round. 
He was a collector of some curios and strategy guides. Don't be surprised if you run across one somewhere in the library. Oh, is that so? Yeah, please keep an eye out, stranger. Clem's gonna eat me alive. Oh, so that's Clem. All right, cool. So, so, hello. Other people. Bright and shiny. So, check you out the rest of the library because things might be there and here and everywhere. Hello, peoples. Have I met you yet? Oh, wait, you're the dude. You're one of the dudes from the main lobby and you're Oprah Winfrey. Cool. Well, stranger, we meet again. Mike here was just telling me about his piano skills. I mean, I can play that melody on the piano stand in the theater, no problem. But Jeremy's the real virtuoso, and Dave... Dave's just in our band to look good. He's the face. <laughs> so you guys are the real deal, huh? A full-time band still doing it? We're in the middle of a tour right now. Our longest one in so many dates. We're gonna play... Eh, you guys are boring me. I don't think you're gonna get me anything interesting. You might! I'll come back later and... But right now, I'm on a mission. This time, I'm gonna, like, laser focus on the said mission of finding... A... A Zoe strategy guide! Yeah, that was easy. So, uh... Here you go. Well, if it isn't a copy of Mastering Zoe! That's exactly what I need, stranger! Ha! Glance through the prologue, Bruce. You might beat me yet. Yeah, normally I'd raise my ante, but given how things are with the hotel right now... Okay, stranger, take this. Bruce's closet key? My, the key to my personal closet in room 308. I want you to go in there and bring me my jar of pickles. I've been letting the spears absorb the brine for a few months. I'm very excited. So that's what keeps stinking up the hallway, Bruce. Your pickle juice? Cider, vinegar, cloves, red wine, and honey, Clem. These pickles are an acquired taste. And I want you to acquire that taste tonight, Clem. It's time. Oh, boy. All right, so off to get some pickles. Oh, this place. Neat. Okay. So, what? Uh, this door? Pants! Okay, oh, the pickles, they kind of fell off the shelf, I see. Cage override? Turtle feed! Wait, does that mean... Push the button? Well, I don't know what just happened. That poor turtle! That poor turtle! What happened to the turtle? It got sucked up! <laughs> That's not fair! I, I, I regret my decision! Uh, what's this button do? Oh! Another passageway. But that poor turtle! What do I do about that poor turtle? And where am I going now? Ooh. Oh, he's got a creepy, freaky hand thingy hiding behind his back. Why is he hiding that? Why are they afraid of it? Or why is he afraid of it? She's just like, eh, I don't care. Whatever. Oh, whatever. So what? Hand. Give yourself a handy? I don't know. What is this? What, where, where am I going now? Where am I going to end up now? Back in the bar. And Clem is out with them and... Oh, hi. You know what? Um... So I'm... I, I'm all good for, like, useless dialogue or, or like, conversation, but... I kind of want to get some things done. I have a feeling that we are on the brink of, like, 
near the end of the game, you know? Oh, she still needs a record needle. And they said there was one in the Norwood Suite, so I should be getting back into the Norwood Suite and uh, get her that record needle, shouldn't I? I, should, I think I should, I think. Excuse me, good sir, I need to get behind you, check out some drawers here. Again, not what, something I'd expect to see in a desk drawer. Oh, that's cute, but uh... Yeah, let's go ahead and apply these so I don't forget. Nicholas, all we need left is the mask and our ensemble will be complete. Oh, hello. A worn record needle. Nice. All right, cool. So, now then, we head on out to the thingy. Talking with that woman with her class. All right, ladies. Look what I found for you. That's exactly what we needed. Let's load it into the cartridge. Very exciting. You still bother me, lady. All right, what do we got? Let's rotate the needle. Here you go. Let's do this. Yay, my ears are getting thirsty. Wait for it. Ooh, mysterious. Neat. Hmm. Hmm is right. I don't know. I, I don't. That was kind of weird. Should I be right? Should I have written those down? Is this a spoken word album? What is this? Are you sure this is even a Norwood record at all, Miss Davis? Ugh, I got this at the Hotel Norwood tag sale some years back. The woman I bought it from couldn't sell it to me fast enough. The label just said Norwood Suite written in marker. A test pressing, perhaps? Stranger, if you would be so kind, they left an actual copy of this record in the trunk of my car. Okay. The record is in the trunk. Oh, okay. You know what? Let's go ahead and just just go ahead and do this here. And uh I assume it's that vehicle down there, the only one that didn't let me get into the trunk. So, Haha. Hee hee. Ho ho, and here we go. So, what is in here besides the records? Oh, look at you, a mask. The Norwood's face mask. Isn't that, that is exactly what I needed to complete my ensemble. Um, Miss Davis, I'm sorry there weren't any records in there. There's just spilt paint. I'm not a mask. I have no idea what you're talking about. I don't have one of the... Lady, why are you watching me? You're starting to disturb me. You're starting to creep me out. Seriously. Why? I'm on to you, she says, as I say the same thing to her. Oh, why'd you guys go? Why you guys leave? Oh well, I don't care. Head on up through here. Ha, yes. Ha ha, yes, yes. Alright, yes. Go ahead and put this guy right there. You know what? I'm gonna hold off on putting that costume on. I have a feeling that there is something I've missed. I'll check it out in between episodes. Maybe that's something interesting. Maybe it's not. I don't know. But uh, anyway, that's going to do it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, let me know by giving that like button a bop. Leave some comments down below. And I will see you in the next video. Hopefully, it'll amaze.